my friend so do you want the success that you've been promised well of course you do right everybody wants success and the thing is that what is success if I could make it specific and I could say this is success for network marketers this is success for affiliate marketers this is success for uh, social media managers this is success for online sales of a product it's success for it. all these different kinds of successes are your success what is your definition of success what is it that you want we're going to be talking about 12 steps actually today we're going to be talking about the first six the first six steps of the what you need to do to get that success online like I said success online is it depends on what you're looking for right what does it mean does it mean being home with your family does it mean making a million dollars does it mean selling a thousand version a thousand copies of your product or your your offer getting a thousand people to join your business what is success no matter what it is these are the things that you need to do to get that success whatever that success is we're going to talk about that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets so what is success right I mean let's just talk about getting success whether success is being home with your family traveling the world um having a big house having a big car having a, a Rolex watch right is, is it things or is it or is it spending time with your family not having a job what is success to you it doesn't really matter what success is to you no matter what it is you basically have to go through these steps and we're going to talk about steps number one to six of the 12 critical success the 12 steps to your critical success to your online success right I mean this is something I put together a while ago and it's still very valid um I don't know my, I guess my computer is a little slow hopefully it's it's gonna it's not gonna be too bad the recording I'm not sure but yeah so the 12 steps to your online success there's a whole bunch of videos I put together this is uh, something that's available for free you can get this ebook just by going to my blog right here just click on this 12 critical steps to online success you go uh, let's open that net so you go there you click on that link and then it'll ask you for your name and email you can actually get all this for free just go and click on that link and it'll open up this uh, page right here where you can just put your name and email in there right and then you'll get this uh, for this sent to your inbox for free right you'll get it right here there you could also go through this and try to find it on my blog they're uh, they're in there um or you can just uh, fo follow along here but you're not going to be able you're not really going to get as much value as if you get it yourself and go get it yourself right so anyway so this is this is the ebook let's go through the first six of the 12 critical steps to your online success first just imagine you know imagine if you have that success maybe in six months a year maybe even five years from now it doesn't it's it really depends on your the ability to put the effort in the amount of time you have that you can put in the amount of focus you do and and the clarity of your vision so are you imagining yourself sitting on a beach somewhere you know sipping a margarita or a pina colada or or just just maybe a a, a lemonade right just on the beach they're enjoying the the scenery enjoying the uh, the the waves and the the temperature and the warmth and the sand is that your success right is that your success what about spending time with your family just going out you know in the middle of the day because it's a nice day and going out for a walk and on in a trail or maybe going out for a bike ride with your kids or or playing frisbee or or, or playing catch or or if it's in the winter you know tobogganing on the on uh, in the snow what is your ideal vision of success or maybe it's being able to just go out on the town with your wife with your husband and have a night on the town and not worry about the kids because you're able to get a babysitter you don't have any financial problems with that and you can just get a babysitter whenever you feel like it because 
there you have the money to pay for it right and you trust the person and you can go out there have a great night whenever you want or maybe you want to travel the world you want to visit Africa you want to visit Peru you want to visit uh, Antarctica <laughs> you want to visit as uh, us Australia you want to go visit Europe I mean maybe you want to spend two months traveling backpacking in Europe and you can't do that because you have a job you have responsibilities you have bills to pay what is that what success is for you right so whatever it is like I said whatever it is getting success through online means is it's important to go through these steps right so step number one defining your vision so when we talk about your vision right your vision is exactly what I just talked about right here right your vision is what is your vision what do you see yourself in a year two years five years ten years from now whenever you have that perfect life what is it we talk about putting together your vision um, I actually have the other the other let's just see can I I can probably let me sh let me show you that I do have if I go back to my courses here I do have not it's not free but it's not very expensive I do have a workbook on uh, let's see where is it I do have a workbook on the 12 steps to online success so these are the 12 steps it's the one that's the free one right and then there's a workbook if I can find it in here there's the workbook and the master class so let's open up this in here let's open both of them up because I want to show you but okay so this is the master class this is a workbook okay so there's a workbook and the workbook contains more details on putting together the um your your vision right so if I look at the vision right the vision part there's exercises in here so let's talk about that right uh, where is it where is it okay define your vision so this this workbook also contains you know my kind of going through the process myself of putting together your my vision together right so you know what gets you started right but your vision keeps you going right your why because your why you know why did you get started why did you start this online journey why do you what do you need what got you to take that step that action step to go and do something to to get started right to set up that account to to create your social media profile to to create to maybe sign up for for an email autoresponder maybe to sign up for a, a platform made all these different things what made you click this link to look at this video right what is your why that's your why your why is why you're starting it why you're going for it why you know what is this they talk about your why must make you cry and all this stuff but really your why is just what gets you started your vision is what keeps you going because you see the end result you got to see that end result you got to see that end result if you look behind me I don't know if you can see but I have these uh let's make the full the webcam here um so I mean this is the list of things these steps right these are the steps the 12 steps we're talking about that I got right here I always look at that all the time right and you can see it whenever you're watching my videos right but that's the thing so your vision is what will keep you going whenever whenever things get tough whenever you feel like quitting whenever you're thinking like oh I'm not getting the results why am I not getting results what am I doing wrong instead of quitting you're going to see that vision and that's why it's so important that's what step number one is your vision to actually think about what you know you need to uh to what will keep you going right so uh let's I mean like you see right here we can see that the, the what it is but I mean for me when I wrote my vision right if you have to have the perfect day right so close your eyes and imagine your perfect day what time do you get up and go to bed oh look at that there's a tea there <laughs> what do you do in the morning afternoon evening how much do you work do you have a job who do you spend time with what do you eat do you exercise you know right below what you saw so if you close your eyes and you think that that's kind of your vision okay what what's it like in five years from now right or 10 years from now your perfect day when your perfect day might be next next month but it's probably going to be in five in a couple of years from now because it takes time to put things in place right but what's your perfect if your perfect if your perfect day is is what you're living now well you're not going to take action because you already have what you want so you really want to imagine what it would be like if you had everything and there were no problems with anything 
your perfect year imagine you know what is your year where do you live do you travel you know how often do you travel what hobbies do you have though all these different things this is and and then the material things you know close your eyes imagine your life in five ten years and 25 what kind of house do you have where do you live all these things and just write down what you um have so this is my vision my vision was this right I'm at home with my family I don't have a job working for someone else I earn an all income online I work two to ten hours a week that's it just two to ten hours I get up with my wife and kids every day and work out we're debt free including mortgage we have two vehicles no older than five years we can go on vacation anytime we want bills are all paid automatically don't have to worry about it we do not need to set a spending budget I can attend all my children's school activity I'm able to help around the house anytime I'm there when anyone is sick to take them to doctor or take care of them I'm able to go to events I'm asked well <laughs> that event thing might not be the case right now because of COVID but that was written up before that right but still eventually that'll, that'll come back right I'm asked to speak at events at least 10 times a year we make over a million a year I help at least 100 people a month to achieve their dreams right so that's that was kind of my vision that I put together for uh that's step number one right so step number one whoo that's a lot right for step number one let's go to step number two right you're uh after you've got your vision you should have your goals as well uh and then uh, there's other things here let's put in place plans for each of these goals how are you going to achieve them okay step number two defining your audience okay so the, so the next thing that's really important and people are like they 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 jump in and I did that right five years ago when I started I did that when I started I didn't I didn't actually jump I didn't actually jump well sorry I did jump in to do things without really thinking about defining my audience I was like you know what my audience is everybody I don't need to define it everybody wants to make money everybody wants to be free everybody wants to have the 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 lifestyle that 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 I'm, I'm promising them everybody wants that right so everybody wants it so I don't have to define it right but that's a mistake it's a big big mistake that's one of the reasons why it took me so long to get to start getting results because I didn't define who I was going after <coughs> who I wanted to, to target so that they would come after me because that's really the point right of attraction marketing personal branding you want people to come to you you don't want to have to go after them right so that's one of the things you got to do step number two is we're going to define your audience you got to define your audience it's it's the second part of the pre three piece puzzle there's three parts to uh defining to 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 clarifying how you're going to communicate how you're going to create uh what you're going to do online those kinds of things there's three parts to that this is the first part uh, of those three piece puzzle pieces right so it's one of the three things you have you that if you don't do in the beginning you're basically doomed to fail <laughs> that's really that's a strong statement right but it is true if you don't define these three things in the beginning you won't get success you'll 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 it'll only happen once you do it so if you take five years or four years or whatever it was that it took me to do it that's how long you're going to be failing you're not going to get any results just do it in the beginning and that's one of the things I should have done I I, I was told that but I just didn't do it because I didn't feel like it I'm just telling you do it do it do it do it okay so I didn't do it in the beginning and today I know how important it is and all that right but let's just look at this so questions to define your audience so here's a series of questions you can ask yourself what product or service or opportunity am I offering right who would be interested in that where do they live what's their education level do they do they have children what are their interests what are their struggles what do they con con uh, congregate online so for me I kind of put this together a little bit like that I said uh, product or service it's a web site to host online course with training how to do it uh, how who would be interested in online marketers trying to generate income online uh, where do they live in the t1 areas USA Canada UK Australia New Zealand what's their education level at least some college not necessarily graduated do they have children yes two three yes two they have two children <laughs> that's my audience three to twelve years old what's their interest they love to help others they love to teach they want uh, other people's success first what are their struggles they've been trying to build online biz for two years plus that's my audience the people I'm going after is people who've been been doing it for a while right they understand some of the basics so that affects how 
I communicate right whenever I talk about things I'm going to talk about traffic I'm going to talk about autoresponders I'm going to talk about funnel pages I'm going to talk about metrics I'm going to talk about the things that those people would know not necessarily people who are just starting out that don't understand pixels don't understand websites and putting headers and things like that right so they have not generated income to speak of they aren't finding clients for their courses where do they congregate online Facebook groups other course platform groups so that's kind of my audience so that's that was number two so number three number step number three is defining your avatar so defining your avatar is is uh, is one of the things that lots of people resist it's like why do I have to define an avatar like I want to I want to attract everybody in that in that audience right all these people that are like these people right that have some college and they love to help others and trying to build an online business they have three two children uh you know I want to attract all the people that are like that I don't want to have just one person and that's the thing people misunderstand what an avatar is and why it's important to define it so that's the third thing you got to do or is it step three yeah step three step three is define your avatar right you need to define your avatar now one of the things I, I just to kind of backtrack a little bit here in the uh sorry in the actual course uh, where is it it's over here no yes steps to online success so, so the the actual course that you can get access to for free the free one right has these 12 videos in here so what I'm talking about right now that I'm giving you a little bit I actually go through more in details in each of these videos for each of the different steps right so you might want to you're going to want to get that free ebook like I said by going to the do I have it still here I think so yeah by going to this link right this link here uh, let me just put it up here that you can go directly to that online success 12 steps.com um you can go straight to that directly to go here you don't have to go to my blog but you know it's it's if you go to my blog which you should go to my blog you're going to be able to see this a lot easier right it's right there on the on the main page right now let's go back to here so on my blog right here wherever you are on my blog no matter what page you're looking at you're going to see it right here on the side which will take you to that page and you'll be able to get it for free and you'll have access to these <clears throat> where is it is this no it's not here yes no it's not here it's here I've <laughs> got too many tabs this is all the 12 videos if you uh request you'll get on my list and you'll also get an email daily reminding you about each of the steps you'll go through each of the steps you don't have to <clears throat> you can go straight to this and go to all the all the videos if you want or you can get a link for each video each day in uh in your email right so that's part of this okay so now the other thing okay step number three define your avatar we're talking about your avatar so your avatar is a specific person it's and it's it's not a specific real person it's it's a person that you define exactly uh and the reason why you do that <clears throat> let me see if I can read this when you look at your audience definition you'll see that it's a big group of people there are probably tens of thousands hundreds or millions of people in that audience right so I'm sure you'll agree that there will be unhappy customers in there people who ask for refunds and even some that complain to others about you or your product this is inevitable defining your avatar is an exercise that helps with that because you know that even with those unpleasant customers in your audience there is a there is this perfect client you love right so that's the process it's the same process as defining the audience you just ask yourself a few questions right so but it's it's making a specific person do I do I not say that in there it's like you when you look at your audience hmm. yeah your perfect client so your your avatar is your perfect client the one you love the one you want to work with the you know you know their eye color you know their their hair color you know what kind of clothes they wear you know you know what their education is whether they're married or not whether they have kids or not exactly where they live what city they live even maybe their neighborhood or the street you know exactly who they are and you even can get a picture of them by googling some some of those characteristics and finding the, the person right online you can even do that so that's that's what it means to define your avatar well now why do you do that I guess I, I didn't define it in here <clears throat> but the main reason why you do that uh is that whenever you're creating content online whenever you're creating 
the ads or you're creating uh, courses or you're creating you know whenever you're talking you can imagine you're talking to that person and you and your message becomes clear and always geared towards that person right so you're, you're going to be communicating in a certain way if if you're talking to a you know a, a, an 18 year old or you're talking to a 60 year old you are, you might have use different words you might use different different things if you're talking to somebody who understands uh, marketing versus somebody who doesn't you might use different words different con but the thing is that if you're if you're not clear as to whether are you talking to a 60 year old or you're talking to an 18 year old that becomes whichever one of those is your avatar once you decide what they are and you keep talking to that person whenever you're creating content your content is always going to be kind of congruent it's always going to be you know clear people will know who you're talking to it doesn't mean that the person who is not your avatar who isn't exactly the same isn't going to be interested in your message they just it's just going to be clear and precise and consistent that's the important part it's got to be consistent and precise that's why you do your avatar all right so that's the second part of the three most important pieces so step number four <coughs> is the next part is defining your offer <laughs> so I mean step number two three and four they don't necessarily have to be done in that order they you can do one before the other but you really need to have those three things clearly defined before you even start to do any kind of promoting even even creating content I mean I didn't do that but you really should do that because that'll help you enormously so defining your offer you might be like okay well yeah I'm selling uh, you know uh, shampoo I I'm in a company that sells shampoo so that's what I'm selling that's my offer it's shampoo but that's the thing it's not that's not true it's not that your offer is not the product your offer is not you know the opportunity your offer is not the platform your offer is not the affiliate program that's not your offer your offer what is your offer is what they get from it so there's only three things yeah so we talked about those three things um, for example if you're selling a weight loss product your offer would not be a pill a shake or a protein bar but rather the 10 20 or 50 pounds they'd lose even more it would be the benefit they'd get from losing those pounds such as better health sleeping better feeling more energetic or making their ex jealous right so this this one thing should be unique and you should be uh, the only one selling that it's also referred to as your USP or unique selling proposition it's also one of those things that you need to just decide and choose to move forward so that's the other thing that you might be caught in this trap of thinking I don't really know what my offer is um I've got like 20 different things I can offer uh what do I do right I'm, I want to offer this and this and this and this and this and this but the problem with doing that is that you get scatterbrained right you get all over the place you need to pick one offer and work on that offer until that offer brings you results that's really what you need to do and again I I I'm struggling to make that commitment myself it's not easy to do but I promise you if you do it you'll get better results and if you try to scatter yourself all over the place like like some sometimes I still do so I kind of have to figure that out myself right but the point is that if you pick one thing and you just work it you just use it until you get results it'll be a lot better than if you try to sell 10 20 different things that's really super important is to focus on one thing all right so then I got these questions to help you out what will they gain from your offer how will they it improve their life you know whoops how will others see them after they get your product service or opportunity how will it affect their jobs how will it change their vacationing habits how will it change their ability to pay for college you know all these different things are questions you can ask yourself and this is me going through my course hosting platform uh, as a, an offer right which I'm not sure if that's what I'm offering today but right now I'm offering this basically this these 12 steps right so step number five creating your content copy okay so text to use like headings things like that now that is one of the toughest things to do when you're starting out 
there's lots of training out there that helps you with that there's a there's a, 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 co, a copywriting course that I that I took that's really amazing that I went through that taught me lots of different things like for example in here do I give that example in here yeah so this for example one good example is if you're posting something about a webinar that you're doing or maybe you're inviting them to some other person's webinar right it's very tempting to say something like you do not want to miss the webinar right you don't want to miss it that's that's like so human where that's what we want to say we want to tell people don't miss it don't miss it it's the best thing ever you you need you can't miss it don't miss it but instead you really should be saying because that's a negative right uh do I say this all they'll see is miss this webinar they will mostly miss it and that's the command that's embedded in the text so you got to be careful instead you got to say you will want to register for this webinar so you say the words that you want them to get in their head right that's one of the <laughs> that's one of the secrets of copywriting is the words you give they're gonna depending on how you phrase it depending on how it's organized that's going to be sticking to their brain there's 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 all sorts of of uh, things about negatives and about not using negatives or double negatives and all these things and the way you word things and then also there's also the whole you know text to use you will want to register for this webinar so you you make it that the register for this webinar is even more strong than just a phrase like this one by you know making it bold underlining it making it a different font maybe a different color that kind of stuff those are the embedding just like I do in all my footers here join the master class ad right I don't say you should go check this out I just say join the master class so every time you go through my workbook hopefully you're gonna you're gonna see this and it's gonna get in your brain and you're gonna be maybe maybe I will join it right and that's the thing so that's the point of copywriting now do I have a let me just I actually have and there's copy exercise let me just uh find for you uh one of the one of the things that I use and let's go I've got a platform that I'm in right let me just log in here and go show you the training that I've gotten for copywriting let me go here got a first log in uh, this is called my license to pro it's basically a training platform and it's a, a tool set to build a business online right it's really complete uh all sorts of training so if I go into my training my purchase courses so in here I can have the copywriting mastery right over here I can kind of show you what it looks like copywriting mastery is really a great course on how to you know seduce your customers to buy with dangerous persuasive words so this really talks about whether it's is it manipulation is it influence then the human needs and why people buy the 12 undeniable needs you must fulfill and then there's the foundation part one the 10 steps says kick ass high converting sales letter and it talks about the the 17 print money copy tips then there's the 13 action steps to get your writing today as you can tell this is done this course is done by a master copywriter and all these headings are very catchy right they're very low I want to look at that I want to learn about this right and uh you know that's module one then there's module two and then there's module three over here the forbidden funnel secrets right and then there's module four and then there's a live copywriting critique then there's module five over here finale's dangerously persuasive power words and uh, anyways there's a whole bunch of stuff so in this course if you want to access it I think I might be able to let me see how does that where what can I send to you I think I can um product it might be in here copywriting yeah right here the copywriting mastery so I can send you to this this is basically this is basically the uh yeah so this will be the this would be how how to get this copywriting course would be through here so if I send you the link the link is this link this is the link right here so copywriting let me see if I can show it right on the screen so it's easy for you to get to um, 
I'm just going to put it right in here I think I have I probably have a link direct link I'll put it in here there you go copywriting master let's make that yeah the copywritingmaster.com oh yeah that's way too big isn't it whoops and it needs to be <laughs> not white let's just go edit this again sorry about that uh, I should have had that ready ahead of time I didn't even think about it but let's uh, change that to make it black and let's make the background gradient make it white actually I think I'd like this to be blue wouldn't you wouldn't it be better to be blue there you go there copywritingmaster.com so that would be so you just go to jsg.thecopywritingmaster.com to go get this and see what it's all about there's a free module that you get um, by registering by get putting your email in there right you'll see this page you'll see this page over here million dollar copywriter you just need to put your name and email in there there you go and you get access to this deadly uh, copywriting anyway so that's copywriting very important to get copywriting right um, if you don't get copywriting right you're not going to get the results you need to get that right now you could learn learn it by looking at other people's promotions at other people's things you know but you really you really going through that training will help you an awful lot all right so all right so that's that's step number five now step number six the last step we're going to cover today uh we're already 32 minutes in so let's just go through that really quick so defining your attraction attractive character so that's that's the person that you're going to be when you're talking when you're creating content when you're posting things it's also it's your persona so you can define your persona are you going to be a leader an adventurer and a reluctant hero a reporter right what's what's your gender how old are they do they have kids <clears throat> um then this is me I'm just defining me right uh, that's so that makes it a lot easier you don't necessarily need you don't necessarily need to um to define a different person you it could be somebody else if you go through a book uh, from Russell Brunson called uh, expert secrets he talks a lot about your persona about your about defining that um so that you can have the right persona whenever you're building an audience whenever you're creating uh, so we're going to talk about the next steps steps number seven to twelve in the next episode so make sure you go tune in to the next episode or go to my blog if you're if you're listening to this after I've posted it you can probably go straight to the second part which is going to be step seven to twelve all right we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.